Today, I'm gonna to run through how to optimize your preferences to get the most out of your game. We're gonna be using a mouse today. So when you go into your preferences, you can do this anytime. It's up on the cog here if you're actually using it in game. You can actually do it when you start a save. Go into preferences. Now, obviously I'm speaking English, so my language will be English. You can change your currency. This might be nice for you to use. Football Manager always has an exchange rate. So say you're in Sweden, learn how much it would be in Swedish kroner. Why does it have to be sterling? Go off, choose the right currency for your save. Make it a bit more interesting. Don't go, oh, that's 20 quid. Find out how much is a kroner. That'll be interesting for you. <laughs> okay, I swear it gets better advice after that. Okay, so here's your extended highlights, key highlights, how you want the game to basically be set up. Uh, if you want replays, if you want in 3D, sound, music, and ambience. So music is when you're talking about Champions League, you know, that introduction music. Ambient is basically, you know, the, the match sounds of the crowds and stuff like that. So you can have them turned on or off. I actually, to be honest with you, when I used to play this last year, I think I had the sounds all turned off. I didn't really have any sounds when it was. So I'm quite enjoying actually having the sounds on. It's changed the way I played a little bit. Interface. Now, displaying natural position only makes a big difference when you're trying to view a player. So let me just find the player. Let's see. Let's go into this tabilla. So at the moment in time, he is here. Yeah, let me just load up a save. So if you look at Van den Boomen, okay, displaying natural position only only gives me the fact he's a mid central midfielder, which considering how much information you get, that's not too bad. Bear in mind, I've already got his actual positions he could play by here. Now, if I wanted to change it so I didn't have his natural position, I didn't tick it like I did. And then it's telling me, look, you can play defensive midfielder and central midfielder. Not bothered by that. I'm quite happy to actually have that reduced. So I would actually have that button ticked off because of the text scaling from small. If you've got small, I mean, you must be playing like this right up close to the, wind, the screen because I can't read small. So, you know, large, larger is what I'm choosing at the moment in time. Your UI transitions is that there will be a lag in between the, the the tabs. So if you want them to animate the menus, reports and cards, by all means do it, but that might be, uh, there will be a factor for your, ca your, your tabs. So if you turn that off, it might make it a little easier. And you might notice that you have a transitional delay. So changing that to the fastest will help as well. And this is things that have come in thanks to them developing in PC and then replicating it in console, which is great. And then we're going to go down to player attributes. Now, player attributes, I'm going to just show you level one. That's level one. Now, the problem I've got with level one is I'm sitting a good couple of meter, about a meter and a half away from my screen at the moment. I can't tell the difference between a 17 and a 13. So I think that's not too defined, well defined for me. So what I'm going to go do is go back into detail. And I'm going to change that then to two just to show you here. Has it actually changed? Again, that's not great for me. I'm not colorblind. I just don't think it's a very good color for me to see from far away. So that's number two. So you can see you're in a grey, grey, white, green and orange. I would prefer my orange to be the number three, the darker one. And that should be... Now, this could be down to my settings because on my screen it is very faint. So if you can't see it, what I've been doing is going into my settings and changing them because mine's on dynamic now. And now having that a bit darker actually makes my settings a lot easier. So maybe check your settings on your TV just to check if that makes it easier to read. Now, I can see that a lot clearer, the 10 to 15 and the greens and the whites. I can see that a lot clearer. I'm a lot more happier with my setup there. And I can see the slightly grayed out four for long throws. It's much easier for me to see there. That's three, but again, that's my choice. If I show you preset four, uh, all the oranges are now yellow. The red is now uh, the lowest, which I don't mind. I think part of me feels like if this was lower league, this would be really good for lower league because you got your elite being the orange, which you're never going to have. And then you, but you're your white 10 is very similar to your blue 14. So the more players you're having really that are more elite, then obviously you might find it better to have the, the differences in presets. Problem I have is I would like to change that preset to maybe have an extra one. So the elite is maybe anything above 18 and anything below that is set based on my actual teams. So, you know, if I'm playing in lower leagues, I'm not expecting players to be of the same standard as this is saying 
for Ajax, for example. You know, I'm expecting, you know, Elite for the Liga main to be adjusted for that attribute to make it easier when I'm looking at a player and trying to make that decision. At the moment in time, I'm just seeing a lot of very light blue and a very white colour. It's not really helping me. But when you're comparing that, like the determination there for 17 is very light. And you can easily see uh, the oranges by you. It, it, it's just, yeah, it's just a bit too faint at the moment. I'd like that a bit different if I could. I'd like to still be, I've asked for customization of attribute colours. I just want to be able to set my own co attribute colours. Whether or not they can do that, or if they said like it was before, whether it affects somewhere in the text somewhere else, that might be the reason why they can't do it at the moment. Time. This might be a compromise. Okay, so we've covered attribute colors. I'm just going to change that back to three because that's the best one I've seen so far. Okay, processing. Now, sometimes you might have a bug where you notice your continue game, continue game kicks in all the time. That's that bit. Make sure that's turned as disabled. Reducing your processing breaks means that you will, it will be breaking up the game. So you're not waiting as much. As the game gets longer, you're not waiting so much. And the key thing is you continue button legacy mode. If I take that off at the moment in time, it won't matter how many emails I've got, it just skips through to the next day. Now, if you go back and you put those settings on, that setting on, it will take you back to what it was with R2 in FM24, which is really, really easy and really simple to understand. You click that button here, which is in the interface, click yes, please for the, the legacy. And then you see all these emails, instead of ignoring them, it will go and it will ask you to read all those emails, which Fine. I mean, if you're trying to get through the game for quick, turn it off. If you want to read every email, by all means do that. You can actually set up your filters to reduce the emails as well if you wanted to. Like I said, here you've got tasks and you've got unread. Perfectly fine. However you want to play it, but it's just there's a quick tip. If we go back to preferences and we go to detail, that is all the interface ones. Matches are pretty much the same. The one thing I have found out was you can go to 0.5 but there was a problem where you can go from 1.25 to 1.75. There wasn't a one and a half time speed. Now they've introduced that. So you can go one and a half time speed and that is plenty quick enough to me. Yes, that's perfectly fine. It plays quite nice. If you want the match sounds, music and ambience, it's also there. Also, you know, if you want, if you have epilepsy, for example, that might be a thing where you need to use plain colors for commentary text to make it easier to read. And you can also click it so it tells you everyone's name in the match. Formats, very simple. We've already covered currency. I have it annually because I'm looking at budgets at the moment in time. Um, you can have it weekly and then you just go just, you know, weekly is divided by two and times by, you know, by 100 basically for two yearly amounts. But, you know, it's that's perfectly easy to work out. I, I just have a yearly just as a quick thing. Celsius, centimetres, metres, kilometres. I'm not really that bothered by these. That's pretty much okay. But obviously, if you're in another country, that might change your settings a little bit. Like America's got different dates. The Europeans have got a different way of doing decimalization. It's just those type of things. If you want colorblind mode, you've got these different settings here and you can adjust the ten intensity, which I, be honest with you, I have no idea because I do not suffer from colorblindness whether or not this makes a massive impact, for example, on your attribute colors. It might make the attribute colors stand out more. If we did that, I mean, it makes my eyes hurt, but no, see, it takes away all the attribute colors. So that wouldn't work for, for that at all. So just make sure if you've got something on, make sure you haven't clicked something and that's pretty much under accessibility, everything you need to know on that. And that's online play. Now, that's pretty much fine. Online play is still not working at the moment in time, and that's an issue, but that's fine. Now, as it stands, that's everything they've changed in preferences. I'm going to do another video in a bit about possibly broken screens that they're going to try and take or not take, and that's going to be coming up as probably one of the next videos. But if that's not up in this screen at the moment in time, why not check out one of these other helpful guides? Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.